Gentlemen, it is now time to welcome Mr. Manoj Padishetti, Deputy Director, Directorate General of Civil Aviation. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome him with a huge round of applause. So, as we all have seen here, the discussion by the various uh, industry experts about how the industry is growing, it is equally important for us to understand and know the consequences and the significance of the duty time limits of the aircraft maintenance engineers and the technicians in the industry. Engineers are the backbone of MRO and their well-being should be at the forefront. As we dive into today's discussion, remember that the cost of neglecting duty time limitations extends far beyond the budget. It affects the health and performance of the team ultimately impacting the success of MRO and also to the nation. As it is rightly said, in aviation, perfection is not a luxury. It is a necessity. AMEs and technicians are those who strive for perfection every day. Can anybody guess the number of ways to disassemble this particular bolt with nuts? Of course, the answer is only one. But can you guess the number of ways to reassemble it? A bolt with eight nuts? Yeah. The answer is 40,000, excluding the errors of omission. Such, uh, why I have presented this particular slide is I want to tell or convey the importance of the maintenance when the engineers does on the aircraft and what are the number of pro, uh, possibilities or probabilities of, you know, doing the certain task. <clears throat> Based on the recent, uh, you know, the research and the analysis of the paper cited above, it has been brought out that the maintenance related accidents is of quite a proportion with regards to the accidents in general. And on the same lines, the fatalities is also connected. Can anybody guess the proportions? It is huge. The maintenance related fatal accidents are 6.4 times of the accidents in general. And with regards to the fatalities, it is 3.6 times in general. Just if you are talking about the uh, number of times, it may not be the significant number or may not be able to get the sense out of it. But if you know, since 1960 onwards, there were around 1,35,000 fatalities uh, or accidental deaths have occurred in the aviation industry and out of which if we compare with this particular ratio, almost a lack of a lack people have lost their lives due to the maintenance related fatalities. Here, it is not the number as one lakh people. It is we need to consider all the one lakh people as the bread earners of the family. It is going to affect the generations of those families. It's not a small thing. Just as a pie chart to make a significance, it is just like that. So how it is affecting the industry? And when we are talking about the engineers and the recent study about the relative risk associated with regards to the number of hours they work on the aircraft, it shows like this. If an engineer works up to 48 hours a week, the relative risk is considerably OK. But when it goes beyond that, it has raised up to 1.42 and even more. On the same lines, if the relative risk has been evaluated and the study has been done, it indicated clearly that beyond 12 hours, it raises tremendously. The risk pertains to not only to the personal, but also to the men and material and also to the, it can lead to the accidents or incidents to the aircrafts. The study has been not only conducted with, on the basis of 
the weekly hours or the daily hours, it has already, it is also been considered with the various shifts, with the morning shift or with regards to the, you know, afternoon shift, sorry, and in the night shift. The risk increased approximately linear fashion across all the three shifts and increased over 17.8% in the afternoon shift and 30% in the night shift. The human element and the expensive consequences can impact uh, the engineers, the technicians, and the industry, and of course, the nation in totally. As per the recent study, it has been brought out that in US, the human factor costed the business over $136 billion. I'm not talking about the aviation industry in general in US. This is a fact extracted from a uh, research paper. So if such is the case with US, what could be the figure of India? The time spent on duty by the engineer or the technician is directly proportional to the human factors issues which happens to that particular person or the engineer. And the number of failures and the number of incidents are directly proportional to the number of hours of work he does. When an engineer has, uh, you know, is had to work beyond the stipulated number of work hours, he will not be motivated to continue and further work for the organization. He may not. And such leads to the attrition rate in the industry. And in the past few years, the attrition rate in the aviation industry is 20%. It's quite huge. The fatigue and the extended duty hours will cause us to the fatigue-related errors, in increased accidents and incidents in the industry, and of course, as we have discussed, employee turnover costs too. And to make it fast, I would like to say that this extended work hours is not only making the uh, psychological and emotional disorders, it also leading to the gastrointestinal disorders and cardiovascular disorders, and especially to women, it is leading to women reproductive disorders too. This has been covered in various regulations of ICAO, YASA, FAA, NCA too. And we all know the fatigue with, with the usage of the latest technologies, we can address these all issues very well. Fatigue management, time uh, aim is well-being, and overtime cost too. And with the summation of this, we all know as the industry experts, what are, could be the benefits to the industry when we address the human related factors and the issues proper, properly. To sum it up, I would, look, I would like to state only one thing. To keep aviation both safe and profitable, let's focus on duty time limitations. Thank you very much. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Manoj, for this thought-provoking address and thought-provoking talk. Well, he very rightly mentioned that in aviation, perfection is not a luxury, it is a necessity. Thank you so much, sir, for this thought-provoking talk. And